as long as we're talking about backups and redundant, let's talk about redundant servos. Put a, a Z bend right here, and then here uh, you can slide this back and forth and adjust it. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my servo cycler to uh, manual here and show you how this works. Just cranking the. Uh, this gives me double servos. Okay. Now method number two. I prefer this method since I usually mount my servos more solidly on bigger models. This method gives good control if either servo fails and is still fully adjustable. You remove the set screw in the middle here and put a spring. I put ballpoint springs on here so this allows movement both ways in case you've got uneven servos. Okay. And to see that work Go ahead and turn it on. Now most people's servos don't travel probably the same exact distance. So this way uh, it will give, turn it on to automatic here and you can see. I'm going to unplug one of the servos. They're both plugged in with a T. Unplug the back servo here. You'll see that it'll be a little more sluggish, but you will be able to get your airplane back down. That's running only on the front servo. Also, if you've got one of these servo cyclers, uh, you can also test your gyro and adjust it uh, like this. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. The gyro will set, and there it did. And now, uh, here's your servos there. All I have to do is, uh, and so I can adjust the uh, gain and get everything all set up with the gyro in there. Yep, you can never have enough backups, especially if you have a big enough plane to carry them around. <laughs>